All right, it is Monday, whatever the fucking day it is. It is 10.03. I'm doing this podcast before I got to leave to work. Uh, Super Bowl was yesterday. I had a great time. Family and friends were over. We enjoyed food, the game somewhat, because the game was just fucking bullshit. You know what I'm saying? There were so many plays, so many calls that should have been done, that weren't done. And you know what? Fuck both those teams and fuck Tom Brady. That's just how I fucking feel. I'm just letting you know. I'm a big Raider fan. And I have my opinions on everything. So I'm not going to dull you on those opinions because fuck both those teams. All right. Now let's get to the fucking shit of the podcast. And you know what? Um, I recently just had something happen to me that just, to me, proves that if you follow your dreams... If you stay in pursuit, if you do what it takes, things happen. Things will happen. You have to work for things. Look, I'm going to announce it once I know it's all fucking foolproof and all that fucking shit. But I want people to understand that if you want something, you work for it. And when you work for it, it comes true. And the reason it comes true is because your hard work pays the fuck off. Sometimes you have to work longer than others, but you know what? As long as you're fucking working, as long as you're fucking trying, and as long as you're doing what it fucking takes, you can achieve your dreams. You can achieve the goals that you set for yourself. That's just how this shit works. 100 fucking percent. All right? I've always struggled. I've always had fucking failures. I've always had... All these things setting me the fuck back. I've had them. I've been there. So when you're sitting there thinking to yourself like, fuck, it's never going to work out. It's not going to happen. Fuck you. Fuck that fucking mindset. You need to understand that if you are trying, working to the point where there, there's nothing left you can give, then you can start thinking those thoughts. But if you're not doing that, then why do you expect something to fucking happen? Why the fuck do you expect to be given something you do not fucking deserve? All right? That's what I'm fucking saying. Look, I bleed, sweat, fucking all this fucking bullshit just to get to my points in my life. All right? I've worked harder than anybody fucking else because that's who I fucking am. I've always been that fucking person. Always been that person. I can see something, I can do something, and if I do it, I make sure I do it better than everybody fucking else because I'm trying to prove a point that I'm good, that I'm the best. Not to anybody else, I'm trying to prove this point to myself. I want to show myself that I am the best, the best at whatever the fuck I put my mind to. Because when you do that shit, when you compete to yourself, when you're competing with yourself, you can only be better than yourself. Fuck everybody else. Fuck everybody thinks that they're fucking, they're the best and all. Nah, fuck that shit. You need to stay humble, work fucking hard, and just fucking strive for your fucking goals. Because that's how you will succeed. Nobody wants somebody out there sitting there bullshitting everybody else. Nobody wants to see or hear that you're better than somebody else. No. That's that fucking shit. I'm not on that shit. The shit that I'm on is I'm better than me. I will always be better than me because I'm going to strive to be better than this person standing in front of you. The next day, tomorrow, fucking whatever fucking day, I'm going to be better than the person that I am today. And that's how I succeed in my life. And I want people to understand that's how you need to succeed in your life. Shit will go right. People fucking respect that kind of shit. Look, I'm out there just fucking preaching all this fucking crap about being better, about being stronger, about being faster, yes, than me, right now, at this moment. Look, I want people to understand that you can do anything out there, as long as you are fucking trying your fucking hardest. If you have to give it all. There can't be nothing left in the tank. You can't be holding back. You cannot be sitting there fucking like, just in case, no. You got to be all in, 24 fucking 7, otherwise you ain't doing shit. At fucking all. At fucking all, okay? Hard work pays the fuck off. When you go to bed, you should be exhausted. You should be burnt the fuck out, ready for whatever amount of sleep you're going to allow yourself to fucking have. So when you wake up the next fucking day, you are ready to fucking hammer that shit the fuck out. 
You're ready to get back out in the fucking world. Be strong. Be willing. Be willing to do whatever it fucking takes. Because look, that's the number one shit I hear. I'm tired. I don't know where I have time. I can't do this. I can't do that. Fuck that. Fuck that shit. That's the kind of thinking that fucking lets you fucking slack off and not do what it fucking takes. Look, everybody has a time and opportunity to relax. But if you want something bad enough, there ain't no fucking time to relax. There ain't no time to be bullshit. There ain't no time to be fucking, fucking not doing shit to succeed. All right. If you want something bad enough, all day, 24 fucking seven, sleep. Even sleep is hard fucking work because you have to fucking make sure you are ready to sleep. You got to make sure you are ready to go to bed because people, I can't sleep at night. If you cannot sleep at night, it's because you are letting yourself not fucking sleep. You have to will yourself to sleep. You have to fucking do that shit. Because if you ain't, you're just going to be up all fucking night, watching TV, scrolling through your fucking phone, not doing shit. When I tell myself I'm ready for bed, guess the fuck what? My ass falls asleep right fucking then and there. I might be restless for a few minutes, but guess what? Knock the fuck out because I know I got shit that I got to do tomorrow. I got goals to fucking achieve. And I'm not going to let myself stop my fucking self. Because I know what the fuck I want. And people are like, well, people have diseases and they can't do this. And people have these syndromes. They're like, look, if they want to use that as a fucking crutch, that's fucking on them. Because even if I had that problem, if I had that issue, I'd still make sure that I'm grinding my shit out, not letting that stop me. All right? Because there's a lot of, I have every fucking excuse in the book to not do shit. All right? I got Four kids. I got a two-hour fucking commute to work. All right? I have to fucking drive back home, get ready, and then do what I fucking want. This podcast, the gym, any little fucking thing I got. And then sometimes I got split days off. And when I have split days off, what the fuck am I supposed to do in the middle of the fucking day, in the middle of the fucking week, with nothing else? Exactly. Look, I have all the... I have a heart issue. I have heart problems. But you think I let that stop me? Fuck no. All right? And I have to take medication every fucking day because of it. All right? And do you think I let that stop me? Fuck no. Fuck no. Look, when issues pop up, problems pop up, I make sure I work around it. I work with it. I use it to my fucking advantage. I make sure that I apply what I know to my life so I can become the better fucking person. The better fucking me. Nothing stops me. All right. The only thing that stops me is me. Hundred fucking percent. I don't let shit get in my fucking way. I don't let nothing get in my fucking way. I don't allow it. All right. When you allow bullshit like that to happen, you're going to let allow more bullshit like that to happen. When you do that, that's when shit gets reversed. That's when you start talking like, oh, I used to do this and I used to do that. But now I'm just like, oh, no, no. All right, I am 30 fucking six. All right, four fucking kids fucking working my fucking ass off to have everything that I want. And I do not let that stop fucking me. All right, all my issues and all my problems, I put them aside. I give them their time and effort, but I do not let them stop me, block me, or keep me from doing what I need to fucking do. Because in my life, I know what I want. In my life, I know what I want to do. In my life, I make sure I do what it fucking takes. And that's what you need to fucking do. All right? So guess the fuck what? This is the Angry Motherfucking Dad Podcast. Get off your fucking ass and do something. And make sure you do it fucking right. If you want to watch this shit, IGTV, you want to listen to this shit, fucking... You know, it's all over the fucking place. I'm too fucking worked up to even fucking talk. Because sometimes I fucking get my shit all fucked up. But it's fucking... IGTV, YouTube, Spreaker, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Spotify, fucking SoundCloud, Google Play, Apple, uh, Apple fucking podcast, iTunes, all that fucking bullshit. This motherfucker is everywhere. So you can fucking find it. So there ain't no fucking problem. It's angry motherfucking dad. Enjoy your fucking week. All that fucking bullshit. I'm the middle of listening to it be like that. That is my favorite podcast. That is the first podcast that I ever listened to. All right. And I fucking enjoy it. So make sure you go show it love and fucking support. Like it, subscribe to it, all that fucking bullshit, alright? I'll put all the information in the fucking bottom. And guess the fuck what? Enjoy your motherfucking week. Fuck. Never-